Hey, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Krista, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be walking you through today's problem as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from lesson two of the chemistry one module. Be sure to pause the video, try the problem out for yourself before listening to my explanation. A mass spectrometer separates ions based on their mass to charge ratio, and the amount of deflection is inversely proportional to the mass to charge ratio. This means that ions with a lower mass to charge ratio will be more deflected, while ions with a higher mass to charge ratio will be least deflected. To properly solve this problem, we're going to need our handy dandy periodic table. Since we need to solve this problem quick on the MCAT, we're going to round all the masses to the nearest whole number that's divisible by the ion's charge. So, starting with A, calcium has a charge of 2. We'll round its mass to 40. Its mass to charge ratio will be 40 to 2, which is simplified to 20 to 1. Next, zinc's charge is 2. So let's round its mass to 66, giving us a mass to charge ratio of 66 to 2, or 33 to 1. Next, iron's mass to charge ratio will be 56 to 2, or 28 to 1. Finally, we have aluminum with a charge of 3 and a mass of 27. So its mass to charge ratio will be 27 to 3, giving us 9 to 1. So from most deflected to least deflected, we'll have aluminum with the smallest mass to charge ratio being the most deflected. Next will be calcium, then iron. And lastly, the least deflected will be zinc. Answer choice B, with the highest mass to charge ratio of 33. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, give us a follow and go check out MCATSelfPrep.com for more tips, tricks, and resources on how to ace your MCAT.